Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming. Today again with another Hearts of Wine 4 video where we play Kaiserreich with Switzerland. Last we left off, I started to push into the Social Republic of Ukraine. Well, kind of started to pushing. Well, we did do a kind of a decent push over here. I did let time run a little bit off camera, so we are on a surplus on infantry equipment again. Not on modern tanks, unfortunately. Uh, but if we can get them to capitulate, I should have my first harbors. Actually, two. One in Odessa and one next to Odessa. Which should enable me to build convoy ships, which will, be, which will enable me to, at some point, hopefully, to get uh, enough marines to uh, do a combined, probably, naval and paratrooper landing in England. Hopefully. <laughs> Working hard on it. Um, yesterday night there should have been a stream, but I uh, fell asleep in front of the computer while I was waiting for Scriptar, and that's kind of weird because I haven't slept in three days before, or couldn't sleep uh, before, so it really sucks that that happened, I apologize for it. Next Monday there probably won't be a stream because I am at the hospital to do some knee surgery thingy. Well, maybe it is a knee surgery, I get a... I get a uh, cortisone injection into my knee, my left knee, because it hurt like it it hurts like hell. And there is a slight chance that there will be some complication, which will result in a longer stay in the hospital. And if everything went uh, goes right, um, I'll I'll should be back at home n at night, so we can do a stream. And this attack is going nowhere, unfortunately. So stop that again. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, of course they cancelled their land lease. I don't have the ships for the land lease. Um, let's pull out the two armed tanks. That's gonna be new army. Do I have a tanker general? I do not. Let's give him our good general Henry Guizon. That's going to be blue army. And the blue army will get an order to come over here-ish. Well, actually, no. Over here. And actually, shrink this one down again to here. Oh, the Austrian Hungarian divisions have arrived. Yeah, over here. Two tank divisions. Let's try to grab this airport over here. Uh, yeah, sure. 14 convoys. I don't have 14 convoys. I don't have 14 convoys. I wish I had. <coughs> Unfortunately, I don't. Minus 2k, we stopped the attacks though. Ah oh, yeah, that's just takes a little while till it is happening. Uh where are my tanks at? Blue army. Oh chat fighters are done. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Next one will be in 1950, so there is no need to rush for that. I'm through here with the research. Oh, let's get better. Rockets and rocket engines. Why the hell not? Uh, so one tank is up here. The other tank is actually over here at the moment. Uh, but that means we can start producing jet fighters. We are good on. Yeah, we're not really good on fighter three. We have like three hundred points. We're gonna go and spend the three hundred points. First of all, in weaponry to five, and then a little bit of reliability as much as we can. So that's a Mark One jet fighter. There we are. Um, gonna wait till I have a little bit more banked uh, of the fighters, fighters three Mark Six, before we actually donate a factory to that. Because do I have enough artillery? I do have a surplus of artillery, so I'm gonna cut back on the artillery a little bit. Probably, nah, I shouldn't cut back on support equipment. Well, maybe, maybe one factory less. So we start, uh, we produce a little bit more tanks. So it wasn't enough to actually get that one done. Okay, I see. Uh, there should be coming in some, some military factories at some point. Uh, the construction is in the queue but on the other news we are doing okay-ish uh, if I give you an order to take this airport here 
Just like that. I'm gonna wait till the tank is actually finally over there before I give them the before I tell them to go. Well, I actually do it per right click maneuver, but I just want them to be in position. What route are you trying to take? A weirdly, a weird route actually. If you do a B move up here, you should be there a little bit faster. <laughs> Getting in position. Uh, I thought there was, there was nobody in this province for a second. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Still minus 2.2k, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, if I tell you to go here, and I tell you to go, any greens anywhere? Sort of, down here. This one turned red again. Uh, this one is also not going the way it's supposed to be going. We have air superior, we don't have air superiority. So yeah, you stop again. I'll let the tank fight for a little while. I think we actually broke it there. Nice, we actually did break it there. Uh, you should stop again. Actually, come down here. I want to hold that airport. Damn it, we lost it again. Go again. Take back the airport and stop again. I, mean, I don't really have the material to do stuff like that all the time, but we did take an airport over here. Uh, hopefully we can hold it. Doesn't really look like we can. I'm actually gonna tell you guys to come down here for the moment. <clears throat> Just to hold the airport for a little while. Because we will see what can what can we put into the airport. We could input put, put in a couple of planes. Well, Close air support, why the hell not? Like, 92, sure. And you will fly over here and you'll do that. Uh, any fighters we can put in? Well, like 19 fighters. Uh, excellent, I have the points for it, sure. Uh, get the fighters back out, get the whole wing in, 19 planes. It's not a lot, but it is something. You're gonna help here with air superiority just so we can see yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i know that i know how uh, know about that i mean we did take the airport here which is nice which is awesome the tanks will stay there for a little while just because they can I actually would would have <laughs> can we push with the tanks and cut them off over here like over here this province if I tell you tanks to go into this one, you should move into position. Uh, we, we, we let build up the the planning bonus for a little while before we give you the actual order to attack. I mean, uh, yeah, I know you want to give me F with 14 convoys, which I don't have. I have one convoy. And I can't change anything about that, unfortunately. Uh, Material-wise, still 2k short on infantry equipment. Which is not really a surprise, they actually push us back over here, which is a bit meh. If I tell you to go, guys, let you fight for a little while. Well, maybe you should join this attack. Like, two tanks probably will be much better than just one. I'll actually tell you to stop again. Let the other tank get here and try to push for a little bit. Just for funsies. Uh, Air-wise, how is our air looking? We have pretty much air coverage over here. Oh yeah, look at that. The push the Germans are doing and the white Russians. White Lithuania um, is actually working out kind of really nice over here. Not really on this side, but there we have quite a big bit of gains. We actually took another airport over here. Where we can probably drop in a couple more close air support units. We'll do some stuff over here. Well, actually, yeah, they pulled out their planes, so that's all good. More airplanes in there is probably not the bad thing. And two tanks, we have them all over here, so if I tell you to go here. Well, it's actually not working out right now, but that's also because there are like eight divisions in there. Uh, you are all out of organization, so that was probably a stupid thing to do. Uh, Sistine Chapel, nah, they're still good. 
If they decide to start to justifying against me, I'm screwed though. Uh, my army needs a couple of weeks to get back, maybe even a month, to get back to uh, Switzerland. That would be really, really bad. Oh, they actually managed to land in England. Nice. So my my plan worked. <laughs> it wasn't really a plan. They just finally managed to actually get some footholds in in, in England. Hopefully, they will I will be able to push them out. Let's check the wars then. Uh, that's the war we are fighting over there, which we are getting quite a lot of participation in. Uh, that's the war against the, uh, the EU, uh, against the Union of Britain. That's another war where we do not have a front. That's my war against Ukraine. So what kind of war is that then? Socialist Republic of Georgia, okay. Yeah, well, the, the, the Germans are doing pretty well. So Middle, Middle Europa is doing pretty well in Southeast Asia. Uh, the Near East, uh, Iran, Iraq. Not so good here in Africa, but... Yeah, 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 they, cut, they canceled their land lease again. I do need some more chromium. So the Russian Empire, can you give me a little bit more? I should have enough factories to do that. Yes, I do. I actually do do that. Uh, how's your lo your organization looking? Ah, pretty good, actually. I'll tell you to go again. Fight a little bit. We have a surplus of infantry equipment, so you go. Maybe we will get a green. There is one green. Uh, the rest of the front, not so much. Unfortunately, you're holding that pretty nicely. We actually have taken Kiev, which is nice. Which is rather nice. Of course, we are running low on infantry equipment again, so you guys stop again. How are we are looking on tanks? 270 missing. So, yeah. Not too great. Did take another airport over here, though. Maybe we can grab. Maybe we can put in. Oh, that airport is destroyed, so never mind. Let's go. Maybe we can put in some troops there. We are getting to the point where we will get territory for us, because we have to claim down there. Yes, I know, but I don't have the 14 convoys. Thank you. For letting me know. Um, maybe my tanks would do better over here. Helping over here, trying to push for Odessa. Yeah, sure. Research the next level of jet engines. Why the hell not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I have nothing... Uh, I'm not able to send you anything over there. I mean, you could send paratroopers. But you're doing rather well-ish. Oh, you have a nice... Well, you got a kind of cutoff there in the harbor, so never mind. You don't have a nice cutoff over there. They're pretty, pretty... Uh, not really. Attrition, like 1%. That's not a lot. How's my weaponry looking? Not too great either. My plans, my planes are doing rather well though. I mean, those 200 probably could come over to this airport. And uh, then they probably should also be in this air zone. Same goes for those 200 to this airport. And then they probably should also be in this air zone. I mean, okay, they're bombing back stuff in the background, but it's not my territory, so what do I care? Right? <laughs> I'm such a nice guy, I know. Uh, your organization is kind of good if you go. Doesn't really help. With the help of you guys, any greens? I uh, shouldn't have done that. I don't have the infantry equipment for it. So both of you stop. All your techs actually stalled out. Yellow. Going along the river. I mean, the push is going rather kind of nice. Close air support is getting rid of their organization and stuff, which is nice. Uh, you're not getting ready to attack me, are you? I mean, you have a ton of troops on my borders, which is just frightening. I mean, I don't really need to hurry. They will take London, it looks like it. 
at some point. I think we have air coverage over London. Yes, we do. Very nice. Strategic Bombers 3. Not that we have <coughs> the area to build reactors or anything. Just so we have them. Um, let me check again. This area is completely clear, so... In in inevitable. Yeah, US has taken London. Nice. Uh, I mean, you can go into the reserves. Same goes for you. You can go into the reserves. There we go. Because this area is completely safe. I mean, in Ukraine, not so much. We still don't have complete air superiority here. We're doing okay-ish. Just not super great. I mean, maybe we can put that wing into this airport. That might be helpful. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. We will see. We definitely probably should bring those guys closer. Like over here. Uh, this airport is overfilled then. No, not anymore. And uh, you're doing that, so I'm okay with this. Uh, research, I actually didn't look what we had finished there. Um, superior mission efficiency, ace generation. Nope, mission efficiency is definitely the thing to go for. Uh, naval wise, doesn't really matter if I research anything in here. Right now, we are pretty good. MP, maybe I need some MP. Let's research it. Just in case we will need it for sure. Uh, how we're looking on infantry equipment. We are from the surplus again. So maybe we should try to help again with the push a little. So go and go. Red, 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 green. Yep. Yeah. German Reich has some territory up there. We're getting kind of close. A couple more provinces till we are actually there. So, not really. So I'll let them fight for a little while here right now. Actually delete that front line. Perfect. Go away. Maybe my tanks should push from another angle. <coughs> Maybe up here that's just too strong. Uh, delete all your orders. And give you a new front line. Probably down here and push along the river. Maybe that's a good thing here, like this. Two divisions coming here, maybe this is too far. Like, uh, it does encircle the whole thing here, I see. But you are going to do a push along this river to the next town, actually. Like this. Perfect. For Of course, you first you need to go into position, get into position. Yeah, I know I don't have 14 convoys to do the trade with you. I would love to. You just don't give me the damn convoys I need for it. So my tanks are getting in position. Uh, Red Army probably needs to stop as well for a little while again. Because I run out of guns again. Uh-huh. They're all attrition. Because there are too many damn troops on this front. But that's just how it is. I mean, there's a ton of troops over here. You have organization. If I tell you to go in here like this... Oh, actually, some German tanks are joined into the battle as well, so... That actually worked out. Rather nicely. <laughs> Pushing them back quite a bit. Come on. Come on. You have no air superiority. We have the decryption advantage. We are attacking from multiple fronts. Yeah, my tanks are doing work down there. At some point they probably pull back some troops, which will be also very nice. Yeah, I know I'm already part of this war. I still don't have a front where I can send some troops over there to uh, kind of help you. So that's not going to happen. This war down here is going rather nicely. I just saw some Finnish flag over here, I think. Yes, I did. Which makes me think that's not very nice of you guys. Well, is it the Finnish flag? No, it is not. Swedish! Swedish flag I saw over there. 
Yeah, United States and Germany are clearing up, cleaning up England, which is rather nice. That's the wrong war. This war over here. This one is my war. I'm just having 20% participation. Well, nobody has much more. United States, no. Why Lithuania has 28%. And Germany, of course, 33. But it's getting there, right? 25% or less, so they're at around 50% towards capitulation, which is nice. Yeah, look at that. That push actually did kind of work out rather nicely. Uh, you should not try to push across the river with the tank. So, shorten the front line to that. Actually extend the red front line to here. Not that that helps a lot, because like uh, like I said, my infantry is not armed. Like 1,300 men are not armed on the front. Which is <clears throat> not super great. It isn't the worst, but it's also not the best. Uh, if I tell you... If you would attack in here... Nah, that's not gonna work out. Yeah, that's what I thought. They can actually pierce my division. Really? Are my tanks not in a super great shape? Uh, oh no, they're just ordinary modern tanks. I see. Uh, upgrade the gun for sure to five and then start with the armor. I cannot. So upgrade the gun to five for now. Can we get a one armor slot? Nope. Okay, five for now. So the gun is to the maximum with the Mark 1. Switch it over. <clears throat> it's gonna take a while till that happens. Uh, are we on a surplus again on our infantry equipment? Yes, everybody has a weapon, so everybody go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that you cancelled your land lease because... We're not getting the material, which is not really surprising, though. Oh, I don't have a front line for you guys anymore, so yeah, you can stop your attack. Where did your front line go, then? Uh, actually, we're doing the normal one. We want to take all along the coast, the two harbors. I have set, and uh, now we want to wait till you have the planning bonus before we set the, your plan in motion again. I didn't realize that one broke, actually. Ooh, we did get across the river, yeah. Uh, that means change of plans for Blue Army. Uh, yep, completely change of plans for Blue Army. Delete that, and you're gonna get a push order to Odessa. Get ready, get your planning bonus going before I tell you, before I actually tell you to go. Well, are you in here? You are kind of in here, so you attack over here. Uh, Red Army, how's your planning bonus? If I tell you to go, you are kind of going and we're gonna get some green attacks, so yeah, let, let that run for a little while. But I tell you what, guys, that's actually going to be it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links to that will be in the video description, like always. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.